What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Shishima. And today I'd like to talk about the ghost stance. I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone in game. I'm just going to kind of give you this bit of information about how you unlock it. And that is if you are in Act 2 and you're doing the main storyline, you will unlock the ghost stance in Act 2's main story quest. Uh, I'm not going to give any more info uh, about it because like I said, I don't want to spoil anything. But it's going to be very obvious when you unlock it. So just keep in mind it is in Act 2's main storyline. Now, it is not a stance like the normal stances in game. As you're going to see here in a second when I kill this enemy, where the normal stances are in the bottom right-hand corner where you would change stances depending on the enemy you're fighting, you will see a red bar kind of building up around those stances. And once it is built completely up and you see this mask pulsing on screen, you have the option to hit L3 and R3 to activate your ghost stance. And you will get this kind of cutscene where it goes black and white, and then once you kill the enemies, it will turn red when you defeat them. Um... Now, this is a very powerful stance that will one-hit a lot of enemies. You can activate it in a boss fight. I've heard a lot of people saying you can't activate it in a boss fight. I have activated it in several boss fights, so just keep that in mind. I'm not sure why some people are saying you're, you cannot. It will not one-hit a boss, but it will do a lot of damage to them. Also, it's not a thing that lasts permanently when you activate it. Uh, as you can see right there, there was only two enemies, so of course, whenever those two enemies die, it deactivated. I have activated this in large battles where there's tons of enemies around. It will still last a little bit longer because there's more enemies, but it's not a permanent effect once you unlock it. It's not like something that's, you know, going to last forever. <laughs> it's on a, on a short timer, and it will go away eventually, and you will have to start the build up on the bar again. As you can see right now on screen, I have a good bit of build up towards that ghost stance, but as soon as I take damage, that build up is completely erased, and I have to start over. So that is another thing with Ghost Stance. It's not an easy thing to unlock because anytime you take damage, or you know, any uh, not really unlock, but to progress in, because anytime you take damage, you will lose your progression on that bar. Also keep in mind, if your Ghost Stance is ready, you're almost, you know, you're about to activate R3 and L3 and use the Ghost Stance, and you take damage before you activate it, you will also lose your progression and have to start all the way over and progressing that bar once again. Uh, some ways, of course, that you can get progression towards that bar is by killing enemies, assassinating enemies. In my experience, it seems like assassinating enemies, it filled up the bar a little bit quicker. Maybe that was just in kind of in my mind. I'm not sure, but it did seem like when I was assassinating enemies, being a little bit more sneaky, I was uh, getting the bar filled a lot quicker. Um, just be sure you take out the archers because they're the ones, in my opinion, that will ruin uh, your fun of trying to get this activated because a lot of times you'll be really close or you will have it ready and an archer will hit you and it will just, of course, like I said, destroy all the progression you have made. But it is a very fun ability, a very unique stance, a lot different than the other stances and it's a lot of fun to use. And if you use it correctly in a big group, you can just destroy enemies very, very quickly and a lot of them will just run away once you're fighting them. Uh, one other thing I wanted to touch on real quick is during Act 2, you will also unlock the Ghost Armor, which I'm wearing right now. And one good thing about the Ghost Armor, the, the more upgrades that you have on the Ghost Armor, the less kills it will take to get to that Ghost Stance. So just keep in mind, if you're wearing different armor besides the Ghost Armor, it will take longer to progress that bar. If you are wearing the Ghost Armor, it takes less kills to get that Ghost Stance bar built up all the way. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out, kind of understand how to unlock and exactly what the Ghost Stance does. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And if you want to check out my Twitter or join the Discord here for the YouTube community, all the information is down in the description. Along with GT Racing, they are the affiliate here on the channel. And they sell gaming chairs, office chairs, desks, all kind of stuff to fit your gaming needs. And like I said, their information is down in the description as well, so give those guys a look. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.